What's going on guys, Af Fernandez here, bringing you guys another tutorial on a scheme fade with a number three and a half on top. I'm gonna start uh, this tutorial here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Andy ZR with the outliner metal blade on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start creating my first guideline to the tempo peak point. Now when you're creating your first guideline, try not to leave a hard line um, use that C motion, that flicking motion, so you don't create that hard line and it's harder to erase at the end. What you do on one side, you're definitely gonna do on the other side. Try to stay uh, symmetrical, um, especially on this first uh, guideline that you are creating. Make sure that it's even throughout. That's gonna dictate how the haircut will look at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Andy's uh, Pro Foil uh, shavers. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, shaving uh, the sides, the back, um, creating that C motion. Don't don't bring the shavers all the way to the T liner blade uh, guideline that we created. Close to it, but make sure you flick. Uh, make sure that you're following how the hair is growing and which direction. And you don't have to let the machine do the work. Try not to push, put a lot of pressure on it. Uh, you could aggravate the skin and create bumps. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Andy's Masters and I'm gonna create a second guideline. Masters on the open position. That means the blade is higher. It's close to a one. And I'm gonna create the second guideline. Now again, make sure that you're using the C motion, flicking the wrist so you're not creating a hard line. What you're doing one side, you're definitely gonna do to the other side. Now once we've created that guideline, I'm going to use my Andy's Master once again so on the close position and I'm going to start working that initiated guideline with the outliners that we created. About halfway up of that guideline that we created with the Masters open. Um, you could use the corners of the blade to achieve a better blend, uh, especially when the client has like uh, dimples in their head, it's easier if you use the corners of your blade it creates a different complete blend all right with the same and this masters i'm gonna open it 
halfway and I'm gonna work the other line as you can see in the video um, you're gonna be using the corner of the blade a lot uh, to get rid of this line now depends on the texture of the hair you might want to close the end this master is a little bit more to achieve a better blend and get rid of that line don't bring it up closer to the top Now with the Andes Masters and the zero guard on it, double magnetic, I'm gonna go ahead and use it open on the open position and I'm gonna create another guideline close to the top. Now after we create that line, uh, that guideline with the masters with the zero guard open, I'm gonna use the zero guard almost on the closed position, the notch before, and I'm gonna work that line up. And again, if it's um, a little darker, use the corners, and you could close the machine a little bit more or open a little bit more as desired. Now I like to go back to my Andes Masters open again I'm gonna go work that initiated line that we created with the zero guard and just flicking the wrist and using the corner to get rid of that line completely um, like I could say like you see here I'm using the corners a lot um, of the machine to achieve a better blend I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my number one guard now on the halfway position and I'm gonna work the top ridge line on the on, kind of like on an angle don't go into the top of the hair but just like stay on the angle and just work that hair out Now you could close the uh, masters a little more uh, to achieve a better blend, especially depending on the area and how the texture of the hair is. So you would just work the level a little bit higher or a little bit lower as desired or as needed for to achieve that better blend. The specific client likes it, um, a skin fade um, pretty high. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, number three guard open, like a three and a half, it's close to a four. And just do the top. I'm 
Murray is my number two guard. Um, double magnetic again with the Andes Masters in a halfway position. And I'm just gonna work that uh, line that is on the top, that divides the top from the bottom. Don't go completely into it, just use the corners and go sideways with it. Um, we're gonna use a different technique after, the, after this to get rid of the line completely. Once we're done with the number one guard doing the cleanup work, I'm gonna go ahead and use my thinning shears in a, in a comb and just pretty much just kind of thinning the shears, making a better blend, right? I'm creating a blend from the side to the top so it looks like it flows together. Thinning shears uh, work a lot to achieve a better blend. I use them almost in every cut. Outliner uh, has the GTX blade on it. The teeth are wider. I like to start on the middle of the line and work my way to the sides, keeping it natural. I'm gonna use the new Tomb 45 shaving gel guys, you can get this at tomb45.com, comes in an 8 ounce bottle for only $6. This uh, shaving gel is amazing, I've been doing hot towels uh, with this gel and it doesn't irritate the skin, the blade glides a lot easier and it has aloe vera in it so it's actually good for the skin. Uh, my boy Chris Bossio created this. And uh, you can get yours at tune45.com. done edging how we did was clean up work with the blade I like to use my Andy shavers again and on this first line that we created with the outliners sometimes you see a little bit of shadow all we're doing is going downwards we're not going up we're going very lightly right on top of the line and just letting the machine go down by itself don't put a lot of pressure guys because you will create a deeper line pretty much just go down very slowly Instagram is at the bar
Barber, Barbers Through History. Go to barberthroughhistory.bigcartel.com for your BTA's gear. Thanks for watching, guys.